In the vast tapestry of world history, numerous women have seized the reins of power, their rule often marked by grace, dignity, and a notable absence of bloodshed. Yet, amidst the tales of benevolent queens, history also harbors its shadows. The stories of female rulers whose reigns inspired dread rather than reverence. Today, we embark on a captivating journey through time, exploring the compelling narratives of these extraordinary and formidable queens and female leaders. Welcome to Ancient Worlds TV, your portal to the past, where we unravel the mesmerizing stories that history has woven. Countess Elizabeth Bathory stands as a stark departure from the typical Transylvanian noblewoman. Her name became synonymous with serial killing, a dark infamy that reached even the commoners she terrorized. Bathory's thirst for violence knew no bounds, targeting helpless servants and humble peasants. To accentuate the macabre, her husband gifted her a torture chamber within their castle, a peculiar testament to marital devotion. Bathory's cruelty extended to macabre feasts of human flesh, often indulging in bites of her victims while they yet drew breath. Moving eastward, we encounter Empress Wu Zeshen, a singular figure in China's history. Ruling with an iron hand, her reign was rife with political strife and a grim tally of lies extinguished. She showed no compunction in dismantling the Tang Dynasty or turning on her own blood to secure her dominion. Perhaps her darkest act was orchestrating her mother's demise and, shockingly, ordering her own grandchildren to take their lives when they dared to criticize her. Wu Zeshen's ambition knew no bounds even at the cost of her family's well-being. As we shift our focus to the Byzantine Empire, we encounter Constantine VI, the Byzantine Emperor, who navigated a tempestuous reign. Initially sharing the throne with his mother, Irene of Athens, their relationship soon morphed into a turbulent power struggle, culminating in Irene's exile. This episode leaves a stark reminder of the darker side of maternal influence. In England, Mary I, infamously known as Bloody Mary, etched her name in history during her tumultuous five-year rule. Firm in her Catholic beliefs, her reign witnessed the execution of countless Protestants, with over 300 condemned to the fiery stake. England recoiled in horror at her brutal governance, forever associating her name with acts of cruelty. Venturing to Spain, we encounter Isabella I, reigning as the Queen of Spain during the dark era of the Spanish Inquisition. She decreed the expulsion of Spanish Jews and Muslims, forcing them to embrace Catholicism or face exile. While she supported Christopher Columbus's voyage to the New World, her rule unleashed relentless religious persecution across her kingdom. In the Merovingian Kingdom, Frege and Soissons, Queen Consort to King Chilperic I, employed a combination of manipulation and murder to secure her status. Her sinister machinations led to the death of her husband's first wife, Galswintha, setting the stage for a turbulent family dynamic marked by confrontation. The fierce rivalry with her sister-in-law Brunhilde, Mary to Seidvert I, ultimately culminated in Seidvert's assassination. Stepping into Eastern Europe, Princess Olga of Kiev, the first female ruler of Russia, and a Ukrainian princess, left an indelible mark on history. Following her husband Igor's murder, she sought a gruesome revenge, boiling those responsible alive, a horrific vengeance straight from the pages of a dark fairy tale. Olga's ruthlessness extended further with the execution of hundreds from the offending tribes and an attempt to incinerate an entire town. Yet in an astonishing twist, Olga later embraced Orthodox Christianity and was canonized as a Russian Orthodox saint. Moving to ancient Rome, Agrippina the Younger, the first Roman empress, embarked on a treacherous path of political intrigue to dismantle her predecessors. She manipulated her uncle, Emperor Claudius, into marrying her, and after his mysterious death, she wielded power alongside her son, Nero. However, when Nero turned against her, Agrippina's life took a treacherous turn, resulting in her expulsion from the throne. In England, once again, Queen Elizabeth once succeeded her half-sister, Mary I, heralding a shift in religious oppression. Catholicism was outlawed, the Church of England established, and Catholics subjected to property confiscation, imprisonment, and, in certain cases, 
execution. Catherine the Great, a German princess who went into Russian royalty. She orchestrated a coup to eliminate her husband, Tsar Peter Iyo, and, alongside her lover Grigory Orlov, masterminded a military coup that culminated in her self-declaration as Empress of Russia. I have survived in a world that does not want me. Catherine even donned a soldier's uniform as a symbol of her audacity. These narratives of female rulers unveil the intricate tapestry of history, where shadows intertwine with the light. While some, like Olga, found redemption on the path to sainthood, others, such as Bathory and Wuzeshin, etched their names in history with the dark hues of cruelty. History's pages remind us that even in the world of queens, darkness can cast its long shadow. As we delve deeper into these historical accounts, it becomes evident that each ruler's reign had profound implications on their societies. Countess Elizabeth Bathory's atrocities left a lasting impact on the psyche of Transylvanians, and the echoes of her deeds reverberate through the region's folklore. Empress Wu Zetian's political maneuverings shaped the course of Chinese history, leaving an indelible mark on the nation's politics and governance. Constantine's sixth tumultuous reign and Irene of Athens' exile underscore the complex dynamics of power within royal families, a theme that resonates through the pages of Byzantine history. Mary won fervent Catholicism and the brutal persecution of Protestants fueled religious tensions in England for years to come, shaping the nation's religious landscape. Isabella's first role in the Spanish Inquisition remains a dark chapter in Spain's history, with repercussions that rippled through the centuries. Fragand of Soissons's Machiavellian tactics and the subsequent violence between rival factions left an enduring legacy of political intrigue and bloodshed. Princess Olga of Kiev's transformation from avenging widow to canonized saint reflects the complex interplay of vengeance, religion, and personal redemption. Arupina the Younger's political machinations highlight the challenges and dangers faced by women seeking power in ancient Rome. Queen Elizabeth's first firm establishment of the Church of England and the persecution of Catholics left an indelible mark on English society, shaping the nation's religious identity. Catherine the Great's coup and reign as Empress of Russia laid the foundation for the country's ascendance as a major European power. In addition to the political and societal impacts, the personal lives of these rulers are equally fascinating. Countess Elizabeth Bathory's marriage, marked by the peculiar gift of a torture chamber, offers a glimpse into the darker aspects of aristocratic relationships. Empress Wu Zetian's willingness to sacrifice family for power underscores the ruthless nature of her ambition. Constantine VI and Irene of Athens's power struggle within the Byzantine Empire unveils the complexities of familial bonds in the pursuit of dominion. Mary I's staunch adherence to Catholicism and the brutal measures taken to enforce religious conformity reveal the challenges faced by a queen navigating the tumultuous religious landscape of 16th century England. Isabella first support for Columbus' expedition and the subsequent expulsion of Jews and Muslims epitomize the contradictory nature of her reign. Fraga de Soissons' manipulation and violence within the Merovingian kingdom offer a glimpse into the precarious position of women in medieval European courts. Princess Olga of Kiev's vengeful acts and later embrace of Christianity present a compelling narrative of personal transformation against a backdrop of political turmoil. Agrippina the Younger's rise and fall within the Roman Empire showcase the precariousness of power and the perils faced by ambitious women. Queen Elizabeth's first establishment of the Church of England and the persecution of Catholics reveal the intersection of political power and religious identity in Elizabethan England. Catherine the Great's audacious coup and rule as Empress of Russia provide insight into the complexities of navigating imperial politics in the 18th century. As we journey through the annals of history, it's crucial to recognize that these queens and rulers were not one-dimensional figures, but complex individuals whose actions reverberated through time. Their legacies, whether marked by cruelty or benevolence, continue to shape our understanding of power, governance, and the indomitable spirit of those who dared to wield the scepter. History, with its shadows and light, invites us to unravel the tales of these remarkable women who left an indelible mark on the world. In conclusion, 
Our exploration of history's most ruthless queens and brutal rulers transcends the boundaries of time, offering a nuanced understanding of power dynamics, personal motivations, and societal implications. As we reflect on the legacies of these formidable women, we are reminded that history, with its complexities and contradictions, provides invaluable lessons for the present and future. The shadows cast by these queens may be long, but they also illuminate the path for those who seek to navigate the intricate tapestry of power with wisdom and compassion. As you accompany us on this incredible odyssey through history, don't forget to show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. We deeply appreciate your continued interest in Ancient Worlds TV. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey.